Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Um, I am so thrilled to be joining you here today to tell you about a fun thing I have been working on behind the scenes. Now, uh, a lot of you know, <laughs> it has been a wild and wacky 2023. It, we had an opportunity to upgrade our website and completely redo it. If you've not had an, a chance to go and check out the brand new marleybird.com, I encourage you to do so. There are so many ways to get all of your patterns and content. Um, there are filters. I mean, it is it is amazing. It is so much, uh, so much work that went into it, but it is ever everything I have wanted in a website for a long time. So um, we worked on the website. We had a wonderful opportunity to work with a fantastic author by the name of Penny Reed. Um, and we are doing a Buy Crafty Stitch Night course that is coming out later on this year. And besides that, you guys know we do all of these different make along events, right? We have done the game day event during the Super Bowl. We used to do the Tournament of Stitches during March Madness, but this year we took a break from it. Go back to the website thing. We were working on the website so much that we couldn't do Tournament of Stitches at the same time. But now here we are, the middle of 2023, and it's time for another event. This is one that we have done um, for four years now. This is our fourth year of doing the Christmas in July stocking event. This is the first year, though, that I'm doing it all by myself. Um, but I'm going to put a little asterisk with that. We'll come back to that. Okay. So, here I am. Hi, guys. Um, <coughs> so the Christmas in July event where we make stockings, you guys have loved making stockings, right? So I have, I mean, the very first year, this was the first year stocking that we did, right? Um, I used Chic Sheep. I actually designed the crochet version. Brianna K did the knit version. But this here, I love, this is the Rattle the Stars uh stocking. And I just, I love this stocking. This was year one. This is available um, on my website and available for purchase if you want to get this. But this was our first year of doing the stockings. Then the year after that, <laughs> the lovely people at Lovecraft asked me to design a stocking. So I did a really fun stocking doing color work with knitting. And I held two strands of worsted weight yarn together. I did a fun uh, split hanger thing here with just twisted cord. I mean, this was so much fun to make. And once again, it just got me loving color work even more, right? So then you jump into the next year for working with the Christmas in July stockings with Brianna. And we decided, hey, we want to make this a tradition. We want to make this something that a lot of people will join in on, get excited for, and be able to make stockings that not necessarily match every year, but they all coordinate every year. So it looks like you have a really nice and thoughtful theme as you put your stockings up, whether you're celebrating Christmas or just the holidays in general. It's fun to put stockings up, you guys. Fill it up. It's just, they're just so much fun to go and get some chocolate out of there. Maybe a lip gloss. I love the little lip smackers. Um, they're just fun. But this was our second year stocking. I did the knit version and Brianna Kay did the crochet version. But you can see here, we have a lot of really great fun color work. And it was in that year, like I said, we decided that we were going to use a yarn that looked a little bit rustic, but had some really great color choices in it. And more importantly, a yarn that we loved working with, because if you've, if you've ever worked with this yarn, you know how fabulous this is. This is called City Tweed by We Crochet or Knit Picks, City Tweed DK. Um, I've put a link in the video description box. It's actually on the blog post. So anything, anything we talk about today is in that blog post, so you can check it out. But we used City Tweed for the first time. This is where we really introduced our templates, so to speak. We made sure that all of our stockings 
had had common aspects to them. So for me, I liked the Pico hem. I love the Pico hem up next to a Latvian braid. Can you guys see the Latvian braid there? That was something I just, I wanted to have that across the board of all the stockings that I made with this template um, because I thought it looked really nice and it's fun for the knitter to do and it's just something a little bit different, right? How many of you, show of hands, gosh, there's so many of you here. Hi guys. Show of hands, how many of you have done a Pico hem before or a Latvian braid? They are so much fun to do. But this was our year two. We did um, the forethought heel, which is really, it's an afterthought heel that you've given forethought to where to place it so that you don't have to go back and just cut um, through your fabric itself. You actually place scrap yarn there to cut through. Um, gosh, hi guys. Can I just, I'm going to pause for a second. Hi, Angela and Crochet Mama and Albertine and Elaine and Shoshana and uh, Racine and Rita and Dana and Lisa and Teresa and she uh, Shelly and Debbie and Caitlin and Chris. Oh my gosh. Hi guys. Um, so many of you here. So that was two years ago. Then last year, we decided we were going to do things just a little bit even in, more pumped up, essentially. So rather than just having a bunch of geometric sort of Scandinavian style stuff, maybe we throw in um, some sort of like motif type pieces. So we had a reindeer. So this was my reindeer. And I fell in love with this stitch pattern so much that if you joined last year, you know that my sample... I made the sample with that entire stitch pattern. I just did not do three colors. I did two colors and I love this. This is called the golden hour stocking, golden hour stocking. And so this is what we did last year. Love it. Once again, guys, these are some of the, the best stockings. My kids love them. My family loves them. When we put them up every year, um, we don't keep the same. So I know that you can make them so that everybody has the same stocking every year, but over the last several years, we have put up our stockings and we have decided, oh, you know, somebody will be like, oh, this year I want this one. And somebody will be like, this year I want this one. And it's just kind of, it's fun to go around and do that. Um, so that brings us to this year. This is our third year using the City Tweed. And I'm ready to wrap up this series of stockings, right? I'm ready to wrap it up. And when that decision was made, my thought as a designer was like, Gosh, but there's so many more designs that we could do. So then that got me thinking and it got Brianna thinking. And we decided that we were going to offer our stockings available in courses where you can essentially take the templates that we've been using and make your own stockings, right? So this year we are doing free stockings. Each of us have our own, our own events. We both did a knit, we both did a crochet. And then as a VIP upgrade to the free make along, because don't, don't get confused. This is a free make along this weekend for the stockings. These are free patterns. The ones that I'm going to show you here in a minute. Um, if you want to do an upgrade, you will get an entire stocking course inside the Marley birdhouse that will give you three different pattern templates and over 50 charts that you could use to create your own stockings. So even though the three year stockings of making these like this for me is coming to a close, it doesn't mean it has to end completely because we all know more people are coming in our lives all the time, right? So we wanna make sure we're able to make more stockings for them. And so this is how we're able to do this. Hi, Grace. Hi, J Hook Crochet and Jenny and Kalani. Um, so good to see you guys. So this year, this is my knit stocking. I decided to do something different and just do stockinette on the foot so I could show you how you could really make things even more plain if you want. Um, I kept the Pico, I kept the, the Latvian braid, and then I did a fun ornament underneath some holly, and I did duplicate stitch. So everything you see here that's a three colors in a row, I did duplicate stitch because I am not a fan of, of knitting, stranded knitting with three colors. I do not like it. Um, but this is the knit one. <clears throat> And instead of doing waistcoat stitch or split single crochet for the crochet one, I did tapestry crochet through the back loop only. And it's a, it's a similar pattern. This is actually, this is the difference between knitting and crochet. This is the same holly chart, <clears throat> one in knit, one in crochet. This is the same ornament chart, one in knit, one in crochet, but the gauge is clearly different for the crochet. It's a little bit bigger, but
but this is the crochet chart or uh, stocking that we will make. I mean, just so much fun. And the colors are just absolutely endless. So having said that, if you want to be a part of the free event, you know what I'm going to do here while I just showed you all of this, I am going to pull up, I'm going to pull up my screen and do a share screen so you guys can see because I'm certain you probably get tired of just seeing me on screen the whole time. So give me just one second here while I'm doing that. Um, how many of you have participated in these make-alongs before? How many of you have uh, made other stockings with Brianna and myself? And then you're just like, yes, I cannot wait to make more this year. Maybe you've already bought Brianna's course or followed along with her crochet along. And now you're ready to do this one. Like, and I'm just, I'm very excited about all of it. I think it's just really cool. All right. Let me see if I can get this to be large enough. Stop wanting to do it for me. <laughs> all right. Now I can share screen. Maybe. Um, is that it? Am I sharing screen? I am. So right here, what I've done is I have gone to the link that is in the video description. So if you go to the video description of this video, you will see there's literally only one link in there. There's There are words, obviously, but there's one link. So that link will take you here, okay? This is the new Marley Bird website, by the way. I just love it. It's so much fun. But all the information you need to be a part of the free event, the free make along. It's all available right here. Okay. So you can go through what is the Christmas in July make along. Um, what are we doing as far as crafting together in a community? We have the Marley bird Facebook group, which is, oh my gosh, we have so many wonderful members, you guys, and they're so encouraging. And we are going to be giving away prizes this weekend, um, for participation prizes. There's different things. Um, we like to offer prizes for uh, people who are super helpful, who are encouraging, who are working amazing. Like, it's just, we have such a great time. Um, and if you're wondering, why are we doing Christmas in July? Um, you know that I do the big 24 Days of Quickies event in December. Why do we do this in July? Well, it's because it's six months until Christmas. So it gives you a chance to really stock up and make those stockings before Christmas. So... Uh, you can read through all of this as you want. The materials list is on here. But what I want to point out is that the make along is this weekend. But I will tell you that the stocking patterns we are using, those two stocking patterns, will remain free on my website. So even if you you don't have time for the make along this weekend, but maybe you want to do it later on, the pattern will be available on the website. However, one of the best ways that you can make sure that you have everything you need what in the world? Oh, it just, did I accidentally click? I think I did. Sorry, I accidentally clicked. Um, one of the best ways you can make sure you have everything you need uh, is joining the Mary Stitchmas Crochet Stocking Course. So did I say crochet? Mary Stitchmas Knit and Crochet Stocking Course. So in the course, as I said, you will get both of the knit along patterns. So you get the two uh, make along patterns. They are put in there. All the videos are put in there. Everything you possibly need is curated in one spot in there. But on top of that, you get, oh my gosh, you guys, can you see me? You get a 54 page custom chart stitchinary. And in this stitchinary, it includes the the uh, stitch fiddle links for every single chart. So you can go in and custom color things, mix and match charts together and really have a interactive stock stocking experience, stock stocking making experience. I can't speak, but you get a, a 50 page chart or not 50 page, over 50 charts in the chart stitchinary. You also get, and it's not, it's, kind of says there, you get three pattern templates. So you get a pattern template for the knit, you get a pattern template for the single crochet back loop only, and you get a pattern template for the split single crochet. So if you're somebody who really likes doing the split single crochet, you absolutely can do that with the pattern template there. And just so you guys know, for a limited time, I'm offering this course at a 25% discount from its retail price. So it's only $24. Um, 
Okay, so I'm just going to keep going here. The VIP upgrade. What this really means is during the make along, as you know, you will always go to this page and get the link for that day's set of instructions because the, the pattern itself is split up into three days. But if you like everything in one place, all in one at one time, all the videos in one place, you don't have to go searching for everything and it's just in your nice little birdhouse, this is what you will do because you will get that in the VIP upgrade. You get to design your own stockings. So you can use any of those charts. Let me come over here. You can use any of those charts, cut them out, mix and match them up to create your very own leg of your stocking or foot of your stocking. Like there are so many ways to go about doing this. It is just, it is, it's so it's so fun. It's just, the, I just I get so, I'm just, ugh, I'm so excited about it. So you get to make your own heirloom stockings. They will resemble the other stockings you've done. You also will get bonus patterns. So remember when I talked to you about the golden hour, you get the golden hour as a bonus pattern. And remember when I said you don't have to celebrate Christmas to put stockings up? Well, you guys know my partner, Robin, she's Jewish. She she lives in a, a mixed household in that they celebrate Christmas and Hanukkah. And so she made this, I'm got, I got to make this bigger because this is just too cute. She made this amazing dinosaur dreidel stocking using the crochet waistcoat stitch. And she also did this awesome mock Latvian braid for crochet at the top. So it looks similar to the knit ones, but you get this entire pattern also in the course. Like this is a bonus pattern inside the course. Another bonus pattern that is not finished yet in the sense that I haven't made it because I'm filming the videos uh, for the next step, but this is called the fancy chic stocking. This is called the fancy chic stocking. So you get the pattern for this. Um, you also, I don't know if you guys know this, but let's do this. Do you see those two fantastic pillows over there? Those are crocheted pillows that say Merry, Lights, and Bright. Um, and uh, so you get the Merry and Bright Christmas patterns for, or not Christmas patterns. Let me try this one more time. You get the merry and bright pillow patterns that are crocheted. So you get those patterns as well. I mean, it's just, it's just overwhelming with goodness in this wonderful course. I'm going to come. Oh, that's not the one I wanted. That's not the one I wanted. That's the one I wanted inside of there. Like I said, you get the templates for the crochet templates, the pattern templates, the free patterns, interactive charts, all of this is inside your birdhouse. So if you already are a member of the Marley Birdhouse, yay, this will just go right into all of your collection of wonderful courses. Um, and of course, there are video workshops to walk you through how you will design your charts, how to put them into place with the, the templates and create your wonderful stockings. I mean, really, the sky is the limit here, you guys. You have so many opportunities to make some amazing stockings. If I were to add up everything in this course, it would be well over $600. But the regular price, I put it down, it's $32. I think that is like more than reasonable. It's amazing for everything that you get. And for a limited time, like I said, before the make along, I'm offering it for $24. Just a side note, we're also giving away, or not giving away, we're also selling or giving you an opportunity to buy the holiday pattern collection. This is the only way you could get it is if you buy the course. It's the only way it's available, but you get um, ad-free PDFs for both of the menorah tops, uh, menorah dinosaurs, the Mrs. Claus stocking, the holiday armadillos, both the knit and crochet armadillos. Uh, this is actually a collection of four uh, knit wine cozies. There is a cowl. There's a gnome. There's the Marley bird. There's the bear. There's an advent calendar. There's a uh, polar bear uh, pulling a Christmas tree. You also will get this gnome and the three friendly gnome blanket. And then of course the merry bright love and lights uh, pillows. Those are all in there as well. And you can only buy that at the um, course purchase. 
All right. So if you want to know more about the knit stocking or the crochet stocking, this is what they look like. Here's more information about those. And then here's where we get to the nitty gritty. This is information you want the most, right? What do you need as far as supplies? Well, like I mentioned, you guys, we did use the City Tweed DK yarn. We like the, the DK weight yarn because you get a chance to really... Um, have your your stitch chart show up really well with the lighter weight yarn now i know that if you were to go to a big box store and buy yarn um if i were to tell you what kind of yarn to get you could get any yarn you want your stockings could just be a little bit bigger if you're using a worsted weight yarn um but even like a a uh, Karen Simply Soft, your stockings will be a lot softer. You have to be very conscientious of tension, but that's a lighter worsted weight yarn. Um, and that would be a good choice. But I, I love, I love the City Tweed. I'm a big fan of it. Uh, you're more than welcome to join the make along and use a different yarn and then order some City Tweed once you decide, oh, these are the colors I want. And then get yourself some City Tweed because it is, it is remarkably fantastic. We put down here that you need two balls of your main color and one ball of your accent colors for the make-along stockings. When it comes to any of the stockings, though, really depending on where you apply what color and how often you use that color is going to determine how much yarn you need. So when I tell you guys that I like City Tweed, this whole bin, this whole bin is city tweed so there are so many color options here for you to choose from and if you do just get yourself quite a variety of it you'll have like stockings for days you have so many options um and if you're looking for patterns to use up some of your scrap city tweed i actually have patterns available that use city tweed so um i highly recommend checking those out as well but the yarn is amazing. I used size seven and size eight knitting needles. For the hook, you could use a G hook. I always recommend having um, a couple different sizes of hooks with you so that way you could play around with the hook size and see what works best. But um, if you are at all interested, grab your materials. Here are some colorways that are some good options to take a peek at. And then of course, like I mentioned, there are prizes. Those are available through, um, the Facebook group. So guys, I get it. Not everybody's on Facebook. I totally understand. However, to make it as easy as possible for us and to be able to see everything in one place and to have the interaction we need for community, having that Facebook group is really important. So <clears throat> if you're at all interested in joining Facebook, even just for the Marley's Minions group, I can tell you we are a pretty safe group to be a part of. We have, we have, rules in place. We have wonderful moderators who really um, maintain, uh, I don't want to say control, that's not the right word. They make sure that it's a positive experience for everybody. So I would love for you to be a part of that. And that's where we will give away the different prizes. Last but not least down here, this is where you will get the links for each day of the free make along. So that way um, you can follow along. So day one, day one, we will work from the cuff down to where the heel starts. Day two is all about the foot. Day three is the toe and the heel. Okay. So that would, the pattern will be separated up in those sections. And this is where you will find those links. So this link right here, this one here, you guys, it's one you want to put in your Marley bird folder. And if you don't know how to do that, grab that little lock button right there. And if you have a bookmark folder that says Marley bird, Take that lock button and just drag it to the Marley bird. And when you open that up, you'll see that it's already there. So you do not have to go looking for it at all. Okay, so I'm going to open this up to some questions from you guys. So let me know what questions you have. Uh, if you're interested at all in getting the VIP upgrade, the course, um, please go and click the link that's in that blog post. The course is not going away. It will be available and made available uh, until we decide to put it in the vault. But we're going to leave it out of the vault for a while now. So you will be able to get it and um, have it as part of your, your Marley birdhouse. Uh, very excited about that. I love it. Okay. So let me come over here and get the questions. Okay. Shelly, did I hear you right? This will be your last year for the Christmas and July stockings. Not 
in general, we will do Christmas and July stockings every year, but this will be the last year that I use this pattern template, so to speak. Does that make sense? I might change things up next year. Maybe instead of a Pico hem, I do ribbing or something. I don't know. So I'm just going to change up the style a little bit. So that way we can kind of get some, some fresh designs in here. So we will still be doing Christmas in July next year, but it's a chance for me to change it up. Okay. Uh, Chris, the sale will end at the end of the make along. So, uh, Monday night is when the sale ends Monday night. Tish, Tish, I purchased the VIP stocking last, um, last year and this year. And, uh, for both you and Brianna, I got the yarn and knit and the crochet last year. I haven't made them yet. Uh, still hoping to get, get to it, get at it for all of them. Tish, I would love to see whatever you put together whenever you get a chance to put things together. I think that would be great. Okay. Um, Racine, I crocheted and knitted your slippers. I had so much. That's so awesome. That The slippers, that's what we did for Turkey Trot a couple years ago. See, we do all these events. And like the, what we will do after this, we actually have a very fantastic first fall uh, coming up. We also have a crochet blanket event coming up. We have a Yarnspirations inspired uh, knit along or not inspired a yarn inspiration sponsored knit along coming up. And then we have Turkey trot and then 24 days of quick of quickies. I mean, there's so many things happening guys. You're going to just love this. Chris says I made one of Brianna's knit designs three years ago. And I added another one, uh, when my daughter, my granddaughter was born. And you know what, Chris, that's awesome because that's the whole idea here is that as new people come into our lives, like my son has a girlfriend who is just so special to us. I, I love her so much. I really do hope she does become part of my family eventually. I mean, he's 19, so it's not ready yet, but eventually I hope she becomes part of the family. But this year I wanted to make her a stocking because I want her to feel like she's part of the family um, and have a stocking on our mantle. So as people come in our lives like that, whether it's girlfriends or um, in-laws or grandchildren or friends or pets, you'll notice that there are charts for pets in the uh, crochet course. You have a chance to make some fun stockings for all of them. Grace says, I made last year's excited for this year's. I will be camping. So I will get the beginning. So I will get the beginning pattern. Um, fantastic. Let's see here. I'm going to keep scrolling down. So cool and beautiful. Um, I, I, this works so well for Chris and Chris and not, okay. I can't say it, but I'm going to say this right. Chris, that would work so well with our Chris Nuka. <laughs> you know what? That's exactly what Robin was talking about is she loves the idea that she can have a, um, Christmas stocking up for her kids and it's, it just works great for what they celebrate. And it's just pretty fantastic. She came up with all these wonderful charts that really celebrate Hanukkah and the Jewish uh, community. And it's just, it's a delight. I was very, I was very, very excited about it. Um, Lisa, Lisa says, yes, yes. Well worth the money. I purchased it. Yes. Going to make my own stockings for the leg. I can't wait for July 22nd to start. Now that's something I definitely want to mention is that when you get the course, you will notice that there is a lock button on the knit along and crochet along patterns right now. Uh, but they will all be in that module and that module will open up on the 22nd. So you don't have to wait each day for each part of the pattern. You get the whole pattern at once when you're part of the um, course inside the Marley birdhouse, which is really great. Um, can you review the colors for, of the crochet stocking? Sure. So let me pull the crochet stocking out. So this up here, this is the jacquard. It's sort of like a greenish blue color. Um, let me see if I can grab a couple of different ones so you can kind of get an idea. I don't know if this shows up on camera. Can you see the difference between those two? This one's a little darker than this one. This one's a little bit more green. This one's a little bit more blue. Okay. So this is jacquard and this is kelp. So that's the difference between the two. It's such a light difference. But what I use, I use jacquard and the green that is, um, I think that's grass. I think that's what it's called grass. And then the orange that is called habanero. And then this is snowbank. It's a sort of a, so this is, I'm sorry, this is snowbank. 
This one is Snowshoe. So what I used was Snowshoe. It's more of a tan and Snowbank is more white. So if you can see here, can you see the two side by side? So she used snow snow bank. I used snowshoe. So they're just subtly different. And then that there, that is not brocade, a morning, morning glory, I think. Morning glory. And that's all the colors. That's all the colors. Now with this one, um, the jacquard, that was my main color. And I think I just had to go into my second ball. Like I barely got into my second ball. So you might actually be able to get by with just one ball of your main color for this one. Um, but I wanted to make sure you had the yarn if you needed it. So that's why we put the two color or the two balls down for the main color. Does that make sense? Okay. Let's see here. Uh, Brenda, she is, where is the link to the Facebook group? Inside that page. So let me come in here again. If you come up here, right here, you see there it says Facebook Minions group? Right there. If you click on that, you'll be able to join the group. I know it's uh, up here as well. I wrote it in a couple different places on where to join the group get past all of this. I wanted to make sure you, you understood that it was more than just an upgrade to just the pattern. So I mean, I put all of that information in there. Um, right here, join the uh, Facebook Marley's Minions group. So right there. And then if you're looking to add your stuff to Ravelry, these are the two Ravelry links. So you could queue your stuff up on Ravelry. And then again, this lets you know that you will return to this blog post and you will scroll all the way to the bottom to get the links for each day. So hopefully that helps you out understanding there. Um, okay, this is good. Let's read here. Tina, sorry, I'm new to your channel and I just joined on here. Hi, Tina. Uh, is there anything major that I missed? Not really. I'm just going through what the make along consists of. Consist of. Um, I wanted to crochet stockings for my family this year for uh, my family, but I'm intimidated. Okay, Tina, 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 Tina. Hopefully you're still here. First off, welcome. <laughs> Second, during this make along, it is a great opportunity for you to give this a try. Dive into the free version, okay? Grab some worsted weight yarn. Don't go and get the DK weight if you don't want to. Just grab scrap yarn that you have lying around. And this weekend, just make a sample stocking. Let me walk you through everything you need to know to make that stocking. As you're making your stocking, you're going to notice that there will be times when things are might be a little bit tricky, a little bit different because you've never done it before. But by the end of the stocking, my goal, my hope is that you will have loved the process so much that you will then say, okay, I'm sold. I love this. I love the way Marley instructs. I am going to either make more of this free stocking for everybody so everybody has the same type stocking or I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab that course and I'm going to design stockings for everybody. So that way, like you could design a stocking like this. This could be your chart. You could color in whatever colors you want to use. And instead of making the big ornament, you could have this for the leg. You see what I mean? Like there, there are so many options for you. So my thought here is intimidation is good. Intimidation means, you know, that you you're excited about something, but you're just a little bit fearful and, but you aren't real sure. And the good news is that's what I'm here for. I love being able to take everybody step-by-step step through the process of knitting and crocheting, not just stockings, but literally everything. So I truly believe that you will have an opportunity to just, just, I mean, you won't have lost anything. You will have a stocking by the end and you get to decide if you want to make more like it or not. All right. Um, let me see here. Uh, miss being able to double up uh, with Olive and to you stocking make along. Not sure what that means. <laughs> So Brianne and I, at going through this process, we decided we were going to split up our courses. So here's the cool thing. Brianna has a course very similar to mine. However, her templates are all toe up. Mine are all top down. Hers are toe up. And she has 40 additional charts that are not duplicated on mine. 
They are not duplicated on mine. 40 additional charts that you could use with both of our patterns, whether you did toe up or top down. Her charts work with my templates. My charts work with her templates. So if you were to get both of our courses, you will have Gosh, I mean, by the time you add all the patterns in and everything, you'll have over a hundred different charts to choose from, including the alpha numeric charts that are a bonus that I put in there so that you could customize and do monogramming. I mean, there are, there's, it's just, it's mind blowing all the options that you have available to you. If you're interested in Brianna's course, let me grab you a link real quick uh, because <clears throat> it's pretty darn amazing. She's, she's such a, a fantastic designer. I love working with her. She is also a very close friend of mine and um, her design aesthetic is just amazing. And so it's just a lot of fun to see what she's done and how we both have, you know, the same idea and how we approach it. And the, the fact that both of our classes or courses complement one another is just a testament to the fact of how well we both are designing um, and doing such a a great job at, at it all. If I say so myself, um, I'm going to stick a link to Brianna's course in the video description right here. Let's see here. Brianna K create your holiday style course. And like I said, it is a complimentary course to my course. So you could get both of them and use them both together and you will be amazed. You will be amazed. Um, let's see here. Okay. Tina says, how big are they? And can you make them longer? How much is the course? The course is $24 right now. The stockings, I'm going to show you. So this is the crochet stocking. This is the knit stocking. I mean, they're, they're rather large. I'm five foot 10. It's a nice size stocking. And can you make it bigger? Absolutely, you could. Uh, as far as longer, I would not change the stitch counts because that's going to mess up your toe and your heel counts. But you could absolutely make it longer should you wish to do that for sure. Um, Grace, let's read what Grace says. Going to add this to my birdhouse account. I really enjoy each module that I have purchased. Thank you so much for sharing your talent. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Putting together all of these courses inside the Marley Birdhouse is a a, cho a chore and a joy at the same time. Um, it's just one of those things that, oops, that's not what I want. It's one of those things that I know that this is how I would want the information presented to me. So I take the time to put everything in there that you could possibly need. Um, I actually, you know what I did guys, and you guys don't even know this. I filmed even more like little quick tutorial videos yesterday to show like little glimpses of things that, um, maybe some beginners might not know how to do, like how to, how to join in the round when you're working the split single crochet, how to change colors, how to do some various stuff like that. But my goal was, I was like, you know what, I think I'm going to film these little videos and I'm going to pop them in there as a little extra just to make it that much more uh, user friendly. And so I'm putting all those in there also because, you know, because why not? Because it's important that we, you know, show you how to do this stuff. And if you've never been into the Marley Birdhouse, guys, so this is, this is the Marley Birdhouse. I'm already logged in. So this is why you see a lot of the stuff in here already, but the prancing through the holidays, that was our make along we did last year. It is still available for purchase if you're interested. But this is what the Mary Stitch Miss will look like. So when you click on view product, it will open this up. You get a bunch of information about the course and how it works. And down here at the very bottom, this is where you find your modules. These are essentially, think of these as your folders. And inside your folders are your files. So um, you'll start with the introduction and then you'll go to supply. And then you have your workshops here. This is the design workshop for knit, design workshop for crochet. Um, but like if we go in here, I have filmed videos to talk to you about the materials we used, why we use those, and what you could possibly need for all of your items that you um, are putting together. Um, yeah, it's just pretty, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. So uh, you'll also see in here that this is the, this is so cool, you guys. How many of you use Stitch Fiddle? Do you use Stitch Fiddle? So all of our charts include a Stitch Fiddle link so that you could use Stitch Fiddle to go in and change up 
your charts. So like if I were to go through here, there's a whole video, excuse me, video tutorial on how to do it, but you can add, add in um, different graphs and make things work for you. And if you have the premium account, it's even better because you can mix and match charts. I'm going to come to anywhere in here. I'm going to right click and select paste and it, you can add, now, add the charts in color find. for 28 stitches. We're going to do it's We're going to click it. Really fun. And we're just going to say it's paste. just cool. Anyway, so you can check out everything about Stitch Fiddle, but then also you'll find in here, let me scroll down here. You have the full Stitchinary ebook that you could print out on its own, but then we divided up each of the chapters and then supplied all of the individual links to the charts or the pages for those charts in each of these modules. So you can just get one at a time if you want. Like I said, there's the bonus alphanumerical charts that we've included. And then this is what I was talking about. You'll see the lock button on these because these don't open up until the 22nd. So all of these open up on the 22nd. And if you want to learn more about Brianna's course, you can go in there and learn more there as well. But that's, that's what it looks like inside of the Marley Birdhouse. So if you're interested at all, you can do that. Lisa says she's already got Brianna's course as well. Hey, you can combine the two and you're going to love it. Uh, Stacy, guys, Stacy has already made all three stockings. She's already made all three of the, of the pattern templates in the course. She's made all three. Um, Stacy says, Marley taught me how to knit. She's an amazing. Stacy, you're so nice. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Teresa, when I purchase the course, does it automatically go into the birdhouse account? Yes. Only if you purchase the course using the same email address that is associated with your Marley birdhouse. If for some reason, say, um, it's abc.com email is your Marley birdhouse email and you bought the course with one, two, three.com. If and then you're like, oh, but I want it in my ABC. Contact us and we can combine them. We can get them. We can get the two connected and you won't have any issues. So the answer is yes, but it, it's immediately in there if you purchase the course using the same email that you use to log in to your Marley Bird account. Um, Stitch Fiddle. If you don't know what Stitch Fiddle is, go check out stitchfiddle.com. It's a place that you can um, create and design different charts for knitting and crochet. It's wonderful. Uh, Rita loves Stitch Fiddle as well. I think it's great. It's awesome because you can do a lot of interactive charts as well. Teresa says that she did use the same email. So yes, it should be in there, um, which is a really great segue to this. I have an entire customer support team, Sharon over at customer support and Chrissy at customer support there. They are there to help you out with anything you could possibly have trouble with. So please, whenever you have any questions, reach out to customer support. It's just contact at marleybird.com or even support at marleybird.com. Either one of those, they answer both of them. If you reach out, they can help you through with any questions you possibly have. And one thing that we have found very interesting, this happened to us several times now that it's worth mentioning. When you buy the course or you buy anything from Marley, the Marley Birdhouse, make sure you tell your significant other if they are the ones that reconciles your credit card accounts. Because we've had several people who husbands or wives have canceled or declared fraudulent purchase um, because they weren't aware that the other person was purchasing something. Um, so make sure that you are very clear how all of that works. Oh, Tish, I'm so glad you love the birdhouse. You know what? It is It is everything that I want in a, a place to have all of my courses. And like I said, the birdhouse for me was a great way to present in a much more detail-oriented course format uh, and the way I wanted it presented, uh, much grander than on YouTube and just much more intense. The amount of stuff you get in each course is, I mean, it's huge. And it's um, definitely worth its value. 
Okay, so is there a tutorial on how to use Stitch Fiddle? Carolyn, the two videos I just showed you, they're very brief tutorials. I mean, I kind of click around and show you how you can paste things, but if you need a more in-depth tutorial after watching those, just let me know. I can always film it um, and put it up because if you need help, it's chances are somebody else might need more help too with the Stitch Fiddle. So I can definitely help more with that. It's pretty, it's pretty intuitive, um, but I can help more for sure. Let's see here. Brenda, Stitch Fiddle is pretty easy, but there's a Facebook page that shows everything. There you go. So the Facebook page, you can check that out also. Okay, guys, I feel like I have kept more than enough of your time. I am going to get off of here and go and I am I'm actually filming all of the videos today for the knit along and the crochet along for, so for the make along. I'm filming them today. So that way um, they're ready to go. Uh, that's why my desk. <laughs> My desk is crazy. I'm going to put a reel up on Instagram here in a couple minutes and you're going to see the craziness that is my desk. And you'll be like, holy crap, how does she even work? I, I, I work in this section. This is all I have right now. Once, once the make along is over, I will get to clean my office and uh, move on to the next thing where I'm thinking about doing a course on designing your own top down sweater, um, using different charts for color work. So similar idea as the stockings, but doing it for a sweater. And I'm very, very excited about that. I'm just jazzed up. Uh, but there's, there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes here. So if you have not already make sure that you have signed up to the Marley bird newsletter, if it's your first time you get two free patterns, two free hat patterns, a knit one and a crochet one, because I'm by crafty here at marleybird.com. And, um, yeah, so go and sign up and enjoy the fun. If you guys don't mind, this is the very last thing. Please share with your friends and family about this make along and course. Your sharing actually helps me so very much. There's a lot of noise out there in social media land and you just never know who's a knitter or crocheter. And so if you share something out there about it, that helps me get my name out there and more people involved. And it's just a great, great experience all the way around. All right. That's it. It's really, that's really it this time. <laughs> okay. Bye.